Um, excuse me, miss. You are not an influencer. And neither am I, but you are also not going to make this video. Oh, hello. Want to see something cool? Hey, Google, play Careless Whisper. Sure. Careless Whisper by George Michael. Playing on Spotify. All right, enough of that. Welcome back, you guys. It's 2020, and we're here. I tried to film this video a few days ago, and uh, it did not turn out well. I feel like I look hideous. You don't. Nature. Yeah, you're beautiful. Thank you. So today, we're gonna try this again. I have been watching a lot of YouTube over the break because I wasn't really making anything or doing much except for spending time with family, cleaning my house. So while I was doing that, I started watching a lot of Katie Hodges, who is Mikey, our glam and gorgeous roommate. If you don't know who she is, just leave. Go watch her videos. They're a lot better production value than this one. Also, these Press on Nails by Kiss. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Katie did a video a few weeks ago in which she discussed how she ended up moving to Las Vegas. Now in said video, I would say she had what I like to refer to as a questionable moment in judgment or some temporary insanity. So today, I wanted to do a sort of chit chat, get ready with me. I got some new stuff to try because also I got a pretty large package, I would say, from Ulta using a gift card that I got for Christmas. So I've got some new stuff, I've got some old stories to tell. And really the theme of today's video is going to be why first impressions matter. Because I used to be someone who would see a red flag and just keep on moving. Because is that a warning? Yes. Do I care? No, because my self-esteem won't permit it. I'm gonna get into the products, we're gonna put on some makeup, tell some stories, and just have a good old time. Also, forgetting the most important part, got us here a nice little mimos, and also lemon water, because life is about balance. So grab a drink, take a seat, and let's get going. So first things first, let's take care of this hair situation. Fitting, since somebody's trying to steal my spot. Some of these brushes and sponges are gonna be dirty since I already tried to film this video. Relatable. First step is going to be priming. So I got in my Ulta haul this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I, upon first impression, quite enjoy the texture of this. I don't know that it really does a whole lot, but it does something. Also should probably take this here nose ring out. While we're on the subject, I should mention, I didn't have the best of luck with dating until three years ago. Essentially, I have a colorful collection of exes. One of whom, which was like my first, I guess you could call it real relationship, is now a drag queen. So all the power to use this. I, for one, have been really enjoying RuPaul's Drag Race lately, so party on, win. So now that we got that worked in, I'm going to use this, which Santa brought me. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I do enjoy this. I've tried it, I believe, a couple times before this video. And the stickiness that some people do not enjoy, it doesn't bother me because I feel that if you really want your makeup to stay, sometimes you need a bit of a sticky base. All right, so now that we're nice and primed, I'm going to use some samples that I got. This is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. Apparently I can't read too well today. It says it blurs imperfections and creates a silky smooth canvas. So I am assuming this is for your under eye. So let's just use every primer possible today. So we didn't get off on the best foot with my dating history. The second pseudo serious relationship I was in, I would say this person was what one might call a bit of a mama's boy. We had been dating for a few months and mind you, this is high school, so it's basically an eternity. Prom season rolls around and this person did not even bother to ask me to prom. It was just sort of assumed that we were gonna go together, which I guess is fine because maybe it's a little princessy of me to assume that you should be asked. But that's why I say I've never had a promposal. I have never been asked to a school dance, not even when I was in college. 
It just was not a thing for me. By the way, next I'm going to use the Becca Under Eye Corrector. I have one. It's a mini that came in like a set of Becca things and I do enjoy using this. I really thought it's an under eye corrector. What is it gonna do? It does, it it works. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my JHOH by Morphe, anything creamy brush, this is creamy. So I'm just going to assume that it's going to work and then what I like to do is just swirl that right on into the old under eye bags and just try to get rid of them as much as possible. Whether or not I should have been asked or not, we end up going to prom together. <sighs> so at said prom, we had been dancing, if I'm not mistaken, but I am not the world's greatest dancer. And also, not to blame the DJ, but I just don't think that they were playing a whole lot of songs that I wanted to dance to. So we were, you know, dancing when we could, sitting down, and I think Honestly, we were waiting for a slow song to come on so we could dance together. In the meantime, he got real upset and was crying, like real life tears. Not like, you know, silently sobbing like you do at like a middle school dance. This was some real life sh I'm looking over his shoulder at his phone because he's texting somebody, which as an adult is probably a questionable thing to do, but at the time I was like, who are you gonna be talking to, your mom? That's who he was talking to. He was texting his mom and saying that I didn't wanna hang out with him and I just was dancing with my friends and doing nothing else. I'm like, girl, relax, it is not that deep. So, spoiler alert, that relationship did not last very much longer either. <laughs> so here we are. You know, I can't really say that my under eye is looking a ton better. I'm gonna take this little Real Techniques blending sponge and try to just kind of pat that out because I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like that extra primer really did much of anything, but I mean, who's to say? I guess we'll figure it out as we go. So on my palette here, I'm going to take my current foundation that I use, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. I do a two to one mix of 420 True Beige and 445 Vanilla. So this is the one, this is the two, because I am not tan by any means, but I'm not pale enough for this one, but not dark enough for that one. So I like to go a little bit more on the light side, but still keeping within the realm of my actual foundation shade. Aside from that relationship being ended shortly after that, I just feel like Honestly, there's nothing wrong with wanting to spend time with your mom, but as an 18 year old adult, basically about to graduate high school, you probably should go spend time with your mom if you want to spend time with your mom and not come to prom. So that was the that on that. And now I'm going to take my sneaky new favorite and it's already dirty. This is the It Cosmetics foundation brush from the Alex and Ani. I think it's like the Astrological Collection or something like that. It's it's something to that effect, and I just got that all over my ear. Fantastic, we like my life are off to an excellent start. Then, many moons later, I experimented with, at the time, this new thing called online dating, which by now is not new, but it was to me at the time, number one, because I grew up in, I mean, a relatively small town, but it just was not a thing. Back in my day, we used the internet for illegally downloading music. Basically, we weren't using it as a dating source, so. Later on in life, I decided I wanted to give it a go. So I met someone, and we had been, you know, going on dates here and there, and I don't know if it was my first comedy show, but we had gone to, like, a comedy show together, we had gone out to dinner, and, you know, it seemed to be going, I guess, relatively well. The only issue is, this person just was not super affectionate. And so, I mean, I was not the most experienced person in the world, so I just thought, hmm, maybe that's just how this person is. And that's fine. People are different. And that's okay. Also, don't be throwing no shade at me, okay? I need, if nothing else today, to dye this hair, because this here, that's what's grown out. And it's not okay. Now that we got that on, I have a new concealer that I've tried once, but I wore it for maybe like an hour, so I can't really say how much I like it. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. The only issue is this is a little bit 
too dark for me, but since I remembered to put the under eye corrector on today, it may very well work out for me. I think I would like to mix it with the infallible full wear concealer because this I feel is bordering on a little too light. This is this shade eggshell. Let's just layer those bad boys right on top of each other. Oh, what the hey. Let's take one little dab will do on the tip of my nose there. We're starting to time to mix some setting spray in here. This is the flower seal the deal matte setting spray. Just for the most longevity possible. So I just kind of started feeling as though we were at a bit of a standstill. I'm going to blend that out using the Sigma F79 Concealer Kabuki BT Dubs, also dirty because this is our take two. At one point we had been together for like probably two-ish months at that point. And mind you, this wasn't just, oh, we're casually dating. This was Facebook official. So it was real. <laughs> After a while, this person would just not answer my calls, texts, anything. And I would like to add, at this point in my life, I was going through a very hard time. I really needed for the person that I was dating to, you know, actually be there for me. And this person wasn't. So I was just like, all right, I can't be doing this no more. I need to get to the bottom of this. I did something that to this day, I question why I thought I should do it, but it's in the past, so there's nothing I can do. I'm also going to use the Pure Cameo Contour in Light. I like the contour on this. I've never tried seriously to use the foundation, so I can't really speak to how much I like that, but I do enjoy this for a good old cream contour. So that's what we're gonna do. Just line them up, use the jawline here. Get that forehead smaller, or at the very least reduced. Get rid of that double chin. I had had enough, and I wanted to know what's the tea? Where are you? Why are you not responding? I could see that you're on Facebook and out hanging out with your friends. Why am I not important enough to warrant a response? So at that point, I thought I had run out of options. So I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I will just show up because you can't ignore me if I'm there in person. I show up to this person's house who lived with their family, was just like, hey, I just came here to see so-and-so. Are they here? They were at work. But luckily, their sister was a very nice person and said, would you like to come wait inside? And I said, yes, I do. I go inside and I had met this person's family, not like at all serious dinner or anything. I just kind of, you know, seen them in passing and chatted with them here and there, but it wasn't like we were buddies. So I go into this person's room to wait for them to return from work. And while I'm waiting, I notice, oh, this here laptop is not locked. It's open and I don't need a password to get in. I did my snooping and what happens when you be snooping? Sometimes you find exactly what you're looking for. And girl, that's what happened to me. I found some things that I was like, you know, I think we're done here. So after said person gets home from work, I also had been sitting with their dog. So it almost felt like, I don't wanna say a villain in a serial killer movie because it was not that crazy, but I was just sitting there petting the dog. And then as soon as they came in, I said, so, how's it going? And they said, good. And I think we exchanged a bit of small talk. And then I said, is there anything you'd like to tell me? And they said, nope. So I said, oh, if you would not like to tell me anything, then I have some questions for you. And they said, all right. I opened the laptop and showed them what I had found. And I said, what's this? And so we had a bit of a discussion about what I had found. It ended there because I was not about to put up with that sort of thing. This is nothing against this person. I deserve the courtesy of a response. So ultimately that was my whole beef was that I wasn't so much concerned if it was the end of our time together or necessarily what the outcome was gonna be because although I was not in a good place, I just needed to know what was going on. We went to a very awkward lunch and then I left. So that's the end of that story, but I tell you guys that story because here's the moral. I had an inkling that something was up and I just done ignored it because I thought, 
you know what? I'm just reading too much into it. And let me tell you, I was wrong. I'm going to use liquid blush and liquid highlight. So this here is the Cheek Kiss from Milani in Cheeky Coral. I did enjoy this the other day and now I know that I can layer up, so that's good. And then I'm also going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight in Moonstone. So here's what I want everyone to take away from this story. Number one, don't go find any of these people or give them any sort of hate if they present themselves. That's not what we're here for. Know your worth. And at that point in life, I did not. I had very low self-esteem. On some level, I felt that I didn't deserve any better. But I also was not... Okay, let's try this again. Before I had a miss with that powder. What I was trying to say was I was not going to advocate for myself and I just couldn't leave well enough alone I suppose. I mean now as an adult I feel like if that sort of thing were to happen I would have the wherewithal to say okay all the signs are here this is over and I thought I needed an answer and truthfully I could have just gone on with the rest of my life and not gotten it and I would have been just as well. Get the old taparoo. And then I'm just gonna take this, dot it on my skin, and I think blend it out with my good old finger. And you know, I wish that that were the end of my dating history being abysmal. Another time down the road, also just put a little bit on this here news. I was doing pretty well for myself, I'd say. I had a solid job that was supposed to be temporary, but seemed like it was gonna go a little longer. I had my own apartment. I had a car, which was a Prius. Actually, let's backtrack. I have another story I'd like to share first. But before that, I'm going to take my flower setting powder and set my little old forehead. Here's something else I would like to add. If your mom warns you about someone, you should probably listen. Here's the story of a time that I didn't do that. So at another point in life, I was dating someone who would later be a heinous asshole. Unbeknownst to me, my mom, my friends, pretty much everyone that I cared about did not like this person and or thought that there were some red flags, but I, just went on ignoring it because I thought, you know what? Nobody's perfect, but maybe this person is perfect for me. Spoiler alert, they weren't. So this person would jump at the gun literally the moment I would leave town because we lived together. I would later come to find that as soon as I would leave, they would be reaching out to people via Facebook, text, Craigslist. Not the I am looking for some used furniture Craigslist. Back end of Craigslist. You know what I'm talking about. But I just went on ignoring it and it took a whole lot more than that to get me to leave. But after we broke up, I was talking to my mom and she tells me, oh, you know, I never liked them. And I was like, well, why didn't you say something? And she gave me arguably the most solid advice I have received. Although, I would also like to add, I feel that if my friends and people that I cared about had shared their opinions with me, I don't think it would have lasted as long as it did. Not that I'm blaming them for staying longer, I'm just saying, I just personally feel like I would have said, you know what, maybe I am right in having weird feelings but never acting on them about this person, so maybe I should just go. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Creme Shop Macro Brow Crayon in Ebony and the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in Ebony as well. So although I will say, I think it's important to listen to and heed the advice of people you care about in your life, be it your mom, your dad, your neighbor, whoever, whoever cares about you, I think you also have to be receptive and open to hearing that in order for it to work. And I think, or I hypothesize, there's that degree coming to work. Not that it didn't work, but that nobody gave it a go because no one thought I would listen. So now I just want you all to know, the reason I include the story about myself in this 
is because I don't want to Taylor Swift you guys. I don't want to sit here and say, oh, everyone else is always the problem and I'm never the problem. I'm sure <laughs> at some point or another, I have been the problem. I just want you all to know my life has not been a perpetual cycle of me just getting screwed over. I have also done some less than reasonable things in the name of my poor judgment. So I'm taking this Morphe concealer to clean up my brows. And I will say this concealer, while extremely drying on my under eyes, and I don't know if that's the case for every shade, but it is for me in this shade C1.25, it is excellent as a primer for my eyelids because I have, I would say probably the oiliest eyelids in the world. So something as drying as this is perfect because then I don't have to worry about my oil seeping through because this will just suck them right up. Y'all hear that sleeping pig baby back there? So now that these brows be clean, I'm just going to put a little, little bitty bit of this here concealer. I'm just going to pounce it out. Time to brush away this here bike. Going in with another Christmas present, the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. My lovely sister who by the way she knows me so well like my sister with clothes with makeup like anything she just like will find things and she's like this is something Cassandra would like and she nails it every time I'm going to take this is just some sort of random Morphe brush that I got in a kit it's essentially the JH33 or M433 which I have somewhere around here I also have this brush that came with said palette. It's just a Too Faced brush. It doesn't have a name or a number, but I think I'm gonna use both of these baddies. And then also the M456, which is essentially the same brush, but smaller. So I'm just gonna take, there is a nice light pink color in here called Warm and Creamy. So I'm going to take that and just start working that into my crease. To further my stories and just let you know what my life was like before meeting my lovely sweetheart. As I was trying the apps for the dating, I ended up finding a real piece of work. The said piece of work lived remarkably close to my office at the time, which meant for me optimum parking because they had a guest parking lot that I could just leave my car in go work, make all the money, and then be done at the end of the day. Now, the reason that I say that is not to kiss my own ass, it's to preface that this person was a Lyft driver slash actor, which if you live in LA, you know, should be a massive red flag. But I was young and naive, so I thought, all right, this person and I have a similar sense of humor, seems legit, Let's go for it. Hey gang, sorry if the angle is slightly different, but I just had to swap out my batteries. <laughs> and we finally have one that's fully charged, so that's nice. Parking situation was great, this person was not. I wouldn't say that we had been dating because that would mean you would actually have to go somewhere and have this person take you out and pay for you. We were supposed to go on a date to my favorite coffee place, Duncan because as it happens, this person was from the East Coast and I had gone to college there, so we were both into the dunks as most people from the Northeast are. However, on the way there, someone rear-ended us. So this person done broke a rib because they rear-ended us so hard. And although my ribs and body were fine and not broken, my spirit was starting to. I feel I was a pretty solid person at that point. I wasn't anywhere near where I am now, but you know, I had a good job. I was very self-sufficient. I handled myself. I didn't need anybody per se. I just was interested in potentially being in a relationship. So I mentioned it one day to this person as we're, you know, sitting and chatting before I had to go to work. This brother pucker has the nerve, the nerve to tell me that he's not interested in that, which is fine. Not everybody wants the same things. That's why some people work out and some people don't. And I can appreciate some honesty because at the end of the day, that's all I can ask for, is just for someone to be honest. I can't fault you for telling me what you want. 
can only fault you if you lie about it. It's not so much that this person was not interested in having a monogamous relationship with me, it's the reason why. And this is what gets me to this day because I'm like, bro, you are a Lyft driver slash actor. And at one point I was like, when was the last time you were in something? He's like, over a year ago. Huh? Then you're not an actor, you're a Lyft driver. <laughs> I'm sorry. This person tells me that they are not interested in being in a monogamous relationship with me because quote, I want to keep my options open. What other option? Who else is taking care of you because the one time that we did go on a date, guess who paid for it because it was after said car accident where your roommates kicked you out because they didn't want to live with you if they knew you weren't going to have a source of income. Hi beach, it me. I cannot be doing this. I'm an adult woman. I need to be with an adult person and this ain't it, chief. Upon being evicted, I did my act of civil service and I helped this person move loaded up all their stuff. And I will say the one good thing that came out of it is that I got an Ikea bed frame for free because they were moving into a hostel. It was essentially not a hotel, but similar for, uh, I believe it was for actors. I don't know because I didn't ask. So I helped this person move and at the end of it, they had loaded all their stuff, all their belongings and the bed frame was just left. And I said, okay, so we're taking this trip and then are we coming back for the bed frame? And they said, no, that's staying here. And I said, excuse me? I can't take it with me. There's beds in this place. So I'm just leaving it for my old roommates. And I said, well, you better tell them that I'm taking this. If I get anything out of this whole ordeal, it's gonna be that bed frame. <laughs> and so I did. And that's the story of how I got my current bed frame. It was it someone who thought that I wasn't good enough and wasn't gonna take it. So I done kept it. You know what? Constantly stubbing my toes on it and kicking it by accident when I walk by. So I think that's my subtle reminder that it's a good thing I got out when I did because otherwise it would not be a good time. Do I look questionable at this point yet? Just to say. I'm not even mad about it. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to do a half cut crease. One of the lighter colors in this palette on there. Finish up these eyes and then come back at the end to set my face and be done with this because I've been talking for far too long. Well, 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 look who's up from his nap and inside from going babes. Hello. Happy New Year, people. Okay, you can go. So this is the final look already for a day of just cleaning and hanging out at home. So let's do the run down here. This, amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Still love it. The brush, which I also, if I didn't mention, got in my little Ulta haul. Love, love, love. The only thing I will say is that it's the same with every brush. I don't feel that it applies foundation to my nose very well. So that's why I generally go in with a sponge to do that. The lip that I'm wearing is a whole lot. It is the ColourPop Lip Liner in the shade Minuteman. Their cream lipstick in Simon Says and the L'Oreal Matte Lip in I Create. Also, which came with my palette, the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. I know it's not pumpkin season, but I actually do like that gloss. It smells vanilla-y. I never thought I would be a gloss type of gal, but alas, people change and here we are. I wanted to end this video with some inspirational advice for you to take into 2020, which is the whole reason I did this. Very lengthy, chatty, great ready with me, but also story time-ish video. What I want you all to take away from this video is number one, don't think that if you ignore me that I'm just gonna show up at your house. I'm not that person anymore. But what I do want you to know is that you need to believe people when they show you who they are because in my experience, people show you who they are pretty quickly and you need to believe them when they show you. So I think what I used to do a lot was just think, oh, first impressions are and everything but maybe I'll grow to enjoy this person and it's just never worked out really if I'm being completely honest the last is the first person that I have found a mutual liking for and obviously that's why we're still together if there's anything else I can add to that is that you are worth more so if someone be it like a co-worker a family member someone in your life your significant other even isn't treating you the way that you need to be treated and you've had conversations and you've told them what you want and they continue to let you down you need to realize that you're worth more and you deserve the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this turns out well because I really don't want to do this a third time, but I'm going to do my Sunday cleaning and just relax in a full face of makeup. If you like these types of videos or you just want to see my face, I have over a hundred videos on this channel. So there's different playlists you can look at. You can subscribe, like this video, comment down below if you feel so inclined, and I will be back 
hopefully next week with some more fresh content. Okay, bye. Oop, that wasn't straight at all. So, oh my God. Who gave you the right? Oh, I was almost gonna set my face with setting spray. That would be a bad idea, no, wouldn't it? Of course my battery's dying. Why wouldn't it be?